Okay, so I've spoken in other videos right about uh, why it's so hard for people to have success with their weight loss endeavors. So now we're going to cover uh, intelligent dieting. Di proper dieting or nutrition is really the correct word, but we'll call it dieting um, that actually works. And when I say the, the, the right diet, I don't mean the right you know, weight loss concoction that you're going to do temporarily, like eating cabbage all day long or something like that. I mean like you know, diet being synonymous with nutrition. Okay, um, so one big problem, right, is that why would people fail is that they're eating in, it comes down to pretty much three categories. And the third category is the one we want to go for. The first category is some form of portion control. You know, you can call that starving yourself, you know, or like intense calorie restriction. So, you know, it means like, okay, when, they, when you hear people saying you can eat whatever you want as long as it's in moderation, you know, I know that sounds like it's true, and it, it is true. It's not like it's not true, but it's very difficult to live that way the rest of your life, especially when you hear the third option. So that what that translates to is, you know, yeah, I'm going to eat most of the stuff that I like, but I'm going to eat it in moderation. If I like, you know, pizza, I'll eat, you know, just make sure I watch the calories. And, and if I like to have burgers and fries just, you know, every now and then because I want to watch the calories and, um, you know, the, the omelet, you know, just watch the calories. So some form of portion control. And sometimes it's not as unhealthy as, you know, hamburgers and fries. So sometimes it just comes down to stuff that is kind of, you know, yeah, you're throwing in the salads and a little bit of fruit and stuff like that. But it's still a form of portion control, which means that you need to be kind of hyper aware of the calories that you're taking in. Okay, so that, that's one. And if you look at so many diets, that's essentially what they are when you analyze it, especially the ones where they say you can eat whatever you want, you can have brownie, you know, uh, we have these prepackaged meals, and you can have the brownies, and you can have the hamburgers, and no one's going to take that away from you, and the pasta primavera with the chicken, you know, nobody should be able to deprive you of the things that you love, but you're living on calorie restriction or portion control, which does work, I'm not saying it doesn't work, but it's not easy. It's not, and, and to think you're going to live the rest of your life like that is kind of impractical, but you know, some people can do it fine, but not the best way. The second way is the, is the low carb path. And you know, I could, we could do a whole video on that, but long story short, you know, most people are going to, a lot of people will lose weight on that, but in the beginning it's usually because it's a, it's a lot of water weight. And then you got to, you know, work hard to maintain that with all those supplements and going crazy to keep your carbs down. And there's like so much evidence to prove that those diets are extremely unhealthy. You know, I, I used to believe in them a long time ago. Looking back on it now, having studied it more thoroughly, I wouldn't recommend them. Uh, just there, there's just so much evidence proving that, you know, that's not a smart way to eat. Third way and the best way is eating a diet that's full of fiber and fruit and uh, healthy starches, you know, high complex carbohydrates, and becoming full with that, and becoming satisfied with those foods flowing through your system. And when you eat that way, then you're satisfied all the time. When you eat that way, what happens is fruits, vegetables, these things provide a, uh, low calories with a lot of satisfaction, and they have bulk in them. One of the ways we're satisfied when we're eating is um, you know what they call you know satiety is putting in bulk into our system and stretching out the stomach receptors a bit. So like you know if you have a handful of let's say broccoli and apples, you know that helps stretch the the um, the receptors in the stomach versus let's say um, a burger, a cheeseburger, where you have it and it doesn't have the it doesn't have the bulk, it doesn't have the fiber. So that's one of the ways to go about it intelligently is to understand the importance of food with a lot of fiber, which essentially is going to come up to like fruits, vegetables, and legumes. And the other part of it is having the right carbohydrates. And um, because your brain runs on glucose, right? And if your brain doesn't get enough sweet fruit as carbohydrates, doesn't get uh, at least a decent amount of it, your brain doesn't feel satisfied. So that's why these people that eat a lot of fat and don't understand this concept, they're having to eat all day long because they're not getting in enough of the right 
glucose into their brain to create a sense of satisfaction. So between having a decent amount of fruit th throughout the day, particularly some of it being sweet fruits like bananas and um, you know papayas and um, even some dates, uh, some grapes, things like that, that, uh, that satisfy the glucose, uh, the, the providing of glucose into the brain, between that and the, the, the foods with the fiber, those things are extremely low in calories. And when you can get in that flow of eating in this um, starch-based fruit, vegetables kind of a way, you will drop, you'll see your calories are low, and if your calories are already low, you can now have them low and not be starving all the time. Because in order for a diet to last, it needs to be sustainable. It needs to be something you can do for the rest of your life. And this way of eating, you don't even need to count calories. And this isn't just a gimmick. This is the truth. You, do, you will not need to count calories. I mean, unless you're really, really stuck and it's not working out, you may, you know, you may then have to go back and maybe look at numbers a little bit, but it's unlikely that you'll even have to get to the calorie stage. At worst, you may need to maybe do a little bit of a food diary and see, you know, maybe where you think you're doing the diet, but you're not. So it probably won't even come to that. So you're, so what this is going to come to is what? High starch, a lot of starch, uh, like things like brown rice, even potatoes, um, all kinds of like starchy things like that, but the, but the complex carbohydrates, okay? And you want to have that then you want to have the fruits and you want to have the vegetables and you want to, in this, it, you're actually the best way to do it is to actually go near vegetarian or just cut out meat completely, okay? And I know that may, you know, get people a little jumpy. Uh, what I suggest is then just like think of that you're going to just try this for like 30 days just for weight loss. Even if you don't agree with the philosophy of vegetarianism and that doesn't appeal to you at all, then do it for your weight loss endeavors. And say you're going to try it for 30 days. And you'll see, once you get in the flow of it, that it starts to become easier. That then you lose the taste for fat. After you've, you've cut the fat out, then you start to lose the taste for fat. So, now as far as the fat intake, you know, what are we talking about here? We're talking about keeping your fat well under 20%. Well under 20%. I, I would say somewhere between a 15 to even like 9% range is where you want to keep it. And, and you're getting all your fats and you're getting your proteins from the fruits, the vegetables, and the, um, the, the complex carbohydrates. And yes, there is enough protein in those things. So that is a very powerful way uh, to get out of the trap of calorie restriction or the low-carb stuff. And this is an extremely healthy way to do it. Uh, I got a lot of this information from uh, Dr. McDougall. He has a few books out. Uh, he, you know, has been helping people for decades now with many health issues, one of them being weight. His results are great. Uh, these aren't based on gimmicks. He's like, you know, a very uh, ethical doctor who's not trying to, you know, put himself out there as like the latest weight loss guru. So you do that, you break out of uh, your, just that trap that you're in, you'll feel more satisfied. You'll be able to drop the weight. It's sustainable. You'll have more energy. You'll see a lot of other positive changes in your life. Cholesterol drops. Uh, uh, it helps people reverse diabetes. So um, it's, it's a great way to go about it. So give that a try, and that'll finally you know, help you get your diet situation in order. Because until you get the diet situation in order, for the rest of your life, you're going to be struggling. For the rest of your life, you're going to always be going crazy with counting calories and forcing yourself in the willpower. But once you break out of this, you just kind of start to go on autopilot um, after you give it like two to three weeks if you do it the right way. Okay, thanks.